Hi, the name of this video is Blender 2.49B Loops Tutorial. You can select the subcomponents of a mesh by either right clicking or shift right clicking or using the B key to block select or the B key twice to form a circle select or alt left click for lasso select. There's another way to select parts of a mesh which is by selecting a loop of vertices, edges, or faces. Also, adding loops is a great way to add detail to your mesh. Instead of subdividing a mesh, which adds lots of extra geometry when it's not needed, adding loops only in the area where you want detail will create a cleaner mesh with fewer edges, vertices, and faces. The aim of this tutorial is both to demonstrate how to use loops to select parts of your mesh and also how to add loops so you can add details to your mesh. We're going to look at selecting by loops first. We're going to work with the default cube. It's selected and in object mode. Go to the edit buttons, F9, and press tab to go into edit mode. Press the subdivide button in the mesh tools panel three times. Rotate the view using either the middle mouse button or alt left mouse button if you've enabled emulate three button mouse in the preferences menu. We're in vertex select mode. Position the 3D cursor at one of the corner vertices. Hold the alt key down and press the right mouse button. Doing that selects not just the vertex, which is what just clicking on the right mouse button does by itself, but the entire edge that the vertex belongs to. Press the A key to deselect the vertices. Now hold the ALT key down and select a vertex that's not on the outside edge, but is instead inside the cube. This time, an entire loop of edges is selected, the loop that the vertex belongs to. The loop could be horizontal or vertical. Press the A key to deselect everything. You can also select the perpendicular range of faces to which the edge belongs by holding both the control key and the ALT key at the same time. To illustrate, press the control key and the alt key at the same time and select the vertex. What's selected is the faces on the edges perpendicular to the vertex. You can add to the loop selection, in effect selecting multiple loops, by holding the shift key down as well as the alt key. Hold both the alt and shift key and select an unselected vertex. Now you've selected two loops. If the loop includes all the vertices that form a face, these faces will be selected as well. If you feel particularly ambidextrous, try holding the Control, Alt, and Shift keys down at the same time and select another vertex. You're now adding to the faces selected before. Loop selection works in edge select mode as well. Hold the Alt key down and then click the right mouse button selects the loop in which the edge belongs to. Press the A key to deselect everything. If we go into face select mode, we see that loops of faces can also be selected in this way. Hold the ALT key down, and with the 3D cursor on a face, press the right mouse button to select a face loop. Hold both the SHIFT key and the ALT key, select an unselected face with the right mouse button, and the loop in which the selected face belongs is added to the selection. Selecting loops of vertices, edges, or faces can make the selection process much more precise than box selection or a selection of individual vertices, edges, or faces. Now we're going to look at creating loops on a cube. You can add edge loops with the Loop Subdivide tool. That's Control-R. To illustrate, position the cursor on the edge of a cube and press Control-R. A magenta square shows where the new loop will be cut. However, you actually have more control over where the loop cut will occur. Press Enter. Now you see both the proposed new loop and a green line, which is the edge along which you can slide the loop. This is called edge slide mode. A green line shows the edge along which the loop can be cut, and that displays. You can scroll the edge up and down along the green line. Press Enter when you get to the position of the new edge that you want. You can create more than one edge loop at a time. Position the cursor at an edge along where you would like to cut and press Control R. Now, instead of pressing Enter, press the plus key on the numeric keypad. 
This adds another loop cut, allowing you to create two loop cuts at a time. You can press the plus key on the numeric keypad again to add another loop cut, or you can press the minus key on the numeric keypad to subtract the loop cut. Then press enter. You can also use the numbers on the typewriter keypad. Edge slide mode does not work when you create more than one edge loop. Instead, the loops are evenly split along the edge. We're going to look at creating loops on a UV sphere. So to do that, let's start with the default scene by selecting Load Factory Settings from the File menu. Delete the default cube, press the Delete key, and press OK to accept the delete. Add a UV sphere, Space, Add, Mesh, UV Sphere, accepting the default settings of 32 rings and 32 segments. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Press A to deselect everything. And press Ctrl R. You can create edge loops either based on rings, the, those that go left to right, or segments, which go up and down. Let's add an edge loop based on a ring. Press Ctrl R, selecting a horizontal edge loop to create. This selection works the same way as for a cube. Press Enter to go into Edge Slide Mode. Position the loop where you want and press Enter. However, for a ring, the edge loop only is created on half of the UV sphere. Press Ctrl R, then Enter. Slide the edge where you want it, then press Enter. Rotate the UV sphere and you'll see the result. To get the edge loop to go around the UV sphere, you'll need to create the corresponding edge loop on the other side of the sphere. You can add more than one loop cut using the plus key on the numeric keypad and subtract using the minus key on the numeric keypad as with the cube. Control alt right click and shift control alt right click work the same way on a UV sphere as on a cube. You can create a loop of faces perpendicular to the edge you select with control alt right click and extend the selection if you somehow manage to hold shift control alt and right click while the 3D cursor is on an unselected face. As you can see, selecting and adding loops can make your mesh modeling more precise when you're adding detail. These techniques work on any mesh, not just a cube or UV sphere. Try them with a torus or with Suzanne, the monkey, and you get the hang of loop selection and addition very quickly. Happy blendering!